yearnings for peace mobilized thousands across Colombia this year. Meanwhile, in Havana, efforts were being intensified to push forward a peace process that has advanced much further than any other previous negotiations with the FARC insurgency. Considered by many as the most pressing issue of the talks, an agreement on the point of justice and victims came as a major breakthrough. It is historic that now truth and acknowledgement of responsibilities have the possibility to be the entry point for compensating the victims. And now that's the way it must be done, because no one could expect repairing the victims if the truth on what has really happened in Colombia is not accepted in the first place. Within an agreement based on reparations, guarantees of non-repetitions and truth for the victims, all actors that have been involved are now expected to acknowledge their responsibility in a conflict that has left over 7 million victims and deep wounds. After 30 years of one of Colombia's most traumatic events, President Santos accepted the state responsibility and apologized for the forced disappearances during the 1985 military retake of the Palace of Justice. Hoy reconozco la responsabilidad del Estado. In a much more private and far more significant ceremony for the victims, the FAR asked the people of Bojaya for forgiveness for the 2002 events, when a homemade projectile aimed at paramilitary troops exploded instead in a charge, killing dozens. Por quienes, ojalá algún día, seamos perdonados. The damage inflicted upon the community and its members is literally irreversible. But that does not mean that the past cannot be overcome and that this acknowledgement of the victims cannot be led to their empowerment as well as their future prospects. On the way to strengthen the confidence of society towards the peace process, a joint operation between the army and the FARC to start clearing landmines was also agreed in Havana. It was the first time Colombia was seeing battlefield enemies working together to create conditions of peace in the rural war zones. The humanitarian cost of war diminished to levels unseen in a long time, as FARC also complied with a series of unilateral truces, which the government responded to by halting air strikes. Many lives have been spared, tranquility has returned to many places in the country, and this is no doubt has to do with the FARC's decision to advance further on a unilateral ceasefire, and in general with all the peace process in Havana has brought with. Nothing is agreed until everything is agreed is the principle of the negotiations in which a final peace deal has yet to be reached. However, this year brought for many a slight glimpse of a Colombia other than the one at fierce war. Natalia Margarita, Telesur, Colombia.